Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Hi everyone, it's New Year's Eve here in France. Hope you've had a good Christmas. We did. It was really busy with all the family round. Here's some photos of it. Are we having fun? Yeah. Bubbly fun. Just doing a cocktail. Very, very yeah. Cocktails. So as you know, last week we were a bit busy and I managed to do a very, very quick edited video for you of the wash house reveal. Um, this week is my turn, it's my room. Ooh, it's the dining room reveal. Now, I wanted to wait until after Christmas to give you the dining room reveal, because I actually wanted to get the whole family's reaction walking through the dining room doors on Christmas day. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the backstory first. Cast your mind back to when we first started filming our YouTube videos. And here is the first video of the dining room, the temporary dining room in the Maison de Maitre that had the billiards table in it when we walked in. So if you come through into here, this is an absolutely fantastic room. The first thing that you notice is the ceiling and how the ceiling is panelled and the fantastic light fitting that can be saved, hopefully. Then if you go down, you'll notice the wallpaper with the fruit cascading from bowls and apples and pears. It's painted on directly onto the paper again, a lot of it above the fireplace is peeling off due to damp and it's seen better days. The main feature of this room is this fantastic French billiards table and unlike uh, an American or English billiards table, a French billiards table has no pockets. Uh, the owner kindly left us with this I think at some point I'd like to actually recover the top of it. We were also left with the cues and the stand, all of the chalks and the counters. The room also has a fantastic wooden fireplace with a fleur de lis inlay and a marble floor to it. So the other thing that's really nice about this room is the wall panelling and how it's all solid wood. The other thing that we like is we were left this mirror, which will need some repair, but it has some lovely little finials on the top of it.
Back in October, I set myself a challenge. Here it is. And I want to set myself a goal for when I get back from England after my lovely restful break. <laughs> With the family coming for Christmas, my aim is to have Christmas dinner in this room. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it looks like it's something huge and unachievable, but I think I can do this. Imagine this room ready for Christmas with a table, possibly a Christmas tree in this corner. It's a lot to picture. Um, but yeah, I think I'm ready to do this when I get back. And I think it will make for such a great room to have a family Christmas in. I got back from my mini break to England on the 11th of November and I started taking the wallpaper off on the 15th of November and that took quite a while. After getting all of the wallpaper off, I then sanded all of the walls, which was a job and a half in itself. I then also sanded the floor back. satisfying job but it's a very very dusty job it looks like it looks like I've been playing with some Colombian dealer for the afternoon but I've not <sighs> Nick then went in and wired in all of the plug sockets into the room that needed doing I then gave all of the really porous walls a coat of white paint just to seal it after sanding it. I then started painting the walls and ceiling all at the same time. I was really proud of this because it took quite a long time. One of my reasons was is that I didn't want to use a roller. I used basically a two inch brush on everything.
everything was painted on the walls. I then went back and as you saw, I addressed the floor. stained the floor. I had an accident with the floor. This colour is called Shen Fons. God knows what that colour's called. All of this floor was stained last night. Half of it's this colour, half of it's this colour. But I managed to get the floor finished. Are we ready with this terrible floor? One. Two, three. Shiny! Just in a nick of time, I managed to get the floor finished on the 19th of December. We moved the furniture in on the 20th of December and the guests arrived on the 22nd of December. During that time, I also managed to hand paint the mirror I also managed to hand paint every single fleur-de-lis in enamel antique gold paint on the fire. And I'm about to just do something quite special with this. But I'm not gonna show you in full, because I'm gonna need the light from my phone that I'm recording on to see. There's been a lot of work. And then it got to Christmas Eve. Everyone was here and I thought, I need to go and sort this room out. It's finally time for my room reveal. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready? Behind me on the wall, there is a framed piece of the original wallpaper. I wanted to put some of the room's original part back into it. The chandelier behind me is actually from our old house in Wiltshire, and it really does look the part in this room. The table is all ready and laid for Christmas day. I've used some mirrors that we bought in England. Uh, I think somebody was selling them on Facebook Marketplace and they were bargain. They were £40 each. They're not real antlers, they are fake, so nothing got hurt. Uh, but yeah, they, I think they really look the part. On the wall behind me, we do have our taxidermy deer head. Oh dear, of course needed a tree and the uh, the tree has a little theme to it I never got to show you in the end but this this is the finished fire look at how good that's come up with the enamel antique gold paint 
and I use the antique enamel gold paint on the mirror as well. It's Christmas day, fire's on, presents are around the tree, table's laid, beef's just about to go in the oven. And I think, I'm sure, the whole family had a fantastic Christmas. And that's really what mattered. But I would like to thank my sister-in-law, Ellen, for all of the help throughout the whole thing. I couldn't have done it without you. And just like that, it's all over and done with. All of the family have gone home and um, it's just me and Nick now waiting for the new year. <laughs> uh, I'm back in the dining room and I've got to say I am just so happy with how this room has turned out. Um, it's always meant to be a temporary dining room for Christmas. Eventually uh, the decor will stay the same but it will become more of a sitting room so there's that to look forward to in the future. In the meantime uh, we're going to run our first ever competition. It's for our subscribers, so you need to be subscribed. Do you click subscribe. It's free to enter, uh, there's no charge. And what's up for grabs is a piece of the Maison de Maitre. I, after looking at all of your comments uh, to do with this room since we started, made sure that I saved lots and lots of offcuts and bits and pieces of the original wallpaper from this room. And you could win a package with loads and loads of different pieces of this original wallpaper. Now, we can date the wallpaper to around 1939 because of various other rooms in the house and pulling the wallpaper off and finding dates and things. So it is original, it is old, it's fragile, but you can win a piece of this. How, I hear you ask? So you need to be a subscriber to our channel. You can be an old subscriber, thank you very much, or you can subscribe today. You need to like this video. Give it the thumbs up, click on the thumbs up. You also need to comment below. You can just say hi, you can say what you think of the room, say how your Christmas went, comment below. And the final thing that you need to do is share this video somehow. You can share it via email, you can share it on social media, you can share it to Facebook, you could share it to Twitter, you could share it to Instagram, you could share it 
to wherever your heart fancies. There can only be one winner as there is only one package of all of this up for grabs. Um, the cutoff point for entry is Friday the 6th of January at midnight French time. So don't waste any time. Get subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing. Now, as I say, it's free to enter. It's sponsored by ourselves. It's got nothing to do with YouTube sponsoring it. All of the terms and conditions are below in the bio, so you can check this out. Um, we are going to announce the winner in our next episode on Sunday. And then one lucky winner shall be posted a huge selection of offcuts of wallpaper from the room that was here originally. Um, we'd like your help please to grow our channel we've been doing this now for over a year i think this could be our 72nd episode this week and we'd just like your help gaining a couple more followers and there's a nice prize up for grabs as well so so it's been a busy Thank you. It's been a busy few weeks here, well, a busy few months actually, getting everything ready, having everyone here. And we've had a few days off now, and it's been lovely, hasn't it? It's been absolutely wonderful. We've kind of had a few days of just really doing nothing, which has been fantastic. It has. But we are dressed <laughs> and ready for New Year's Eve. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't we make this wine of the week? Yes. We've got champagne because it's. New Year's Eve, and we're in our we're in our finest dressed for the occasion. Yeah, we're in our renovating clothes, <laughs> and we will be <laughs> spending New Year in the living room <laughs> with the dogs. <laughs> Cheers! <Hooray. laughs> Cheers! So here's to a happy New Year. We will see you next Sunday, where we will gonna give you a bit of a bit of a what we did in 2022 update. Yeah. And maybe a little... Pla plans for 2023. Exactly. So, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to have a... Yeah. Clink. Oh, clink. <laughs> if you liked it, click like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that button and then you'll find us a lot easier. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com Anyway everyone, thanks for watching and Happy New Year! Happy New Year, see you next Sunday! <laughs>